In this video, we are going to focus on the eraser brush in 3D Coats Paint Workspace. You also happen to have a mirrored set of paint tools in the Sculpt Workspace as well, so that you can paint on a surface mesh or voxel object, and you can use the eraser brush the same way. Now I want to touch on a few other erase functions that are in other tools, but primarily the eraser brush. It's very straightforward, just like it is in Photoshop or any other image editing application. So I have a layer selected for the decals. With a brush draw mode selected in the E panel, you can also hit the E key to bring it to your cursor so that you don't have to reach across the interface each time. I need to make sure my eraser transparency is at 100%. And while I'm at it, I need to mention that this is a very important aspect to the erase functionality in other tools. So if you have your eraser transparency set to zero, then your erase function in these other tools will not work properly. Again, I will increase that to 100% and then just make a quick brushing motion. Let's choose a sharper brush alpha. Undo, and I have steady stroke on, so yeah, if I wanted to add some quick cuts like this, I could do that just with a brush. Um, we also have other tools that could make this fairly easy, uh, such as the this line tool. Um, but we can also use shapes, so let me Go to the close spline draw mode and the curves editor will appear. So if you just want to make very quick, uh, maybe rectangular forms, you could do that here and then just uh, right click and choose fill inside the closed curve. Okay, we can uh, use this transform tool if we want. I'll click and drag, reposition it. And then I'll hit the escape key to drop the transform tool. Now I can right click and choose fill inside the closed curve. Let's hide the curves. There is also erase functionality built into the fill tool. By checking the fill with eraser option in the tool options panel, you can use the fill tool as a de facto erase tool. It works by layers as well, meaning that it will erase whatever pixel information I have on the chosen layer. I will now check fill with eraser and make sure eraser transparency is set to 100%. If I want to erase everything, I can just click. And it erases everything on that layer. Let me undo. Another way that you could do this is by hitting the delete key making sure that the channels that you want to erase are enabled. Okay, and it doesn't matter what tool you're in, you can do this. It will simply delete or erase all the pixel information of the channels that are enabled when you hit the delete key. So I'll do that again right now. I'll hit the delete key. Undo. Now I want to go back to the eraser tool real quick. And I want to set the transparency down to very low value. And then go to another tool like the brush tool. I will now flip my Wacom stylus over and use the eraser tip. Yeah, if I brush along. It's only erasing at 20%. But if I go back to eraser and change the transparency to 100, now when I go to the brush tool, I'm erasing at 100%. All right, one last option that we have is using the control key. One caveat is as of build 2024.32, there is a, an issue with the depth channel enabled. It's not working as you would expect if you were using the eraser brush, for example. 
but with the depth channel disabled, then I can go ahead and use the control key to essentially erase the color and the glossiness. Okay, and that's going to conclude this look at the eraser tool and erase functionality within other paint tools in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.